Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you using oracle cards and tarot. And we're going to go ahead and dive right into the reading. I will need to uh, shuffle the cards. Um, but in the meantime, um, I want you to go and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs if you haven't done so already. That way you get all of the messages that pertain to you in this reading for April. Okay. Um, I will be doing, as I said, both Oracle and Tarot. So um, these Oracle messages that come out first will be very powerful and will coincide with um, the Tarot reading very closely, okay? Um, I did things differently last week um, and I was using Tarot, I'm um, sorry, the tea leaf cards. Um, I did get some feedback per my request from some of the signs, not all, um, to see if people liked the tea leaf card reading. And so far, a lot of people did. So if you haven't checked that out yet, or if you haven't le uh, looked at your reading from last week, please go and check that out. Let me know if you do like the tea leaf cards, okay? Um, I'm going back to the way that I normally do things, which is um, Oracle and Tarot but um, I do like the tea leaf cards myself and I would like to continue to use them. I just would like your feedback, so please let me know. Let's go ahead and get the first oracle message out on the table for you. Spirit, what do you have for Taurus? We got two messages for you, Taurus. First one is the talesman. You are destined to succeed. Of course you are. Beautiful. All right, and then the second one is the Griffin, honor and good luck. Wow, those are some very, very positive messages to start your reading with. Let's go ahead and get um, a animal spirit oracle for you. So we can see what animal you will be embodying during the month of April. I can't believe we're already in April. Blows my mind. We're already almost halfway through the year. Taurus, there is a full moon coming up on the 28th. Um, we will be pulling a moonology oracle card as well. But I just want to remind you that you can utilize the moon's energy to manifest, okay? Because it looks like you're already starting out beautiful with these two cards of luck, honor, and success. So very exciting for you. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Animal Oracle has for you. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Taurus for the month of April? The animal Spirit, will he or she be embodying this upcoming month? Oh, you got two messages. Lucky, lucky you. See, you're already, you're already starting out with luck, right? Okay, so the first one is a personal choice. It says to close your eyes. So close your eyes. <laughs> what animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. So take a moment, close your eyes, and think about what animal you are feeling right now. What are the traits that you, that you embody that this animal is closely related to you? This animal, these traits that this animal has. What wisdom do, do they share with you? Okay, so think about that for a second. And then we have the Snow Leopard, Self-Reliance. It's a beautiful card. The card says, you are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. Ooh, that's powerful. Very, very, very powerful. Beautiful messages. 
Okay, so let's get our last oracle message here from the Moonology deck. I'm going to repeat myself and say, please make sure you are utilizing the moon's energy this upcoming weekend, okay, to ensure that you are manifesting the things that you want to see in your life, that you want to experience and have in your life, and have only positive thoughts during this time, okay? All right, let's see what spirit has for you, Taurus. Spirit, please give Taurus the messages that they need to hear for this upcoming month in April. We have, it's time to take action. The new moon in Aries. Beautiful. So it's time to take action, Taurus. Whatever this means for you, Spirit is highly encouraging you to take action on whether it's a project, whether it's towards a person, whether it's in work, whatever it is for you that you know that you need to take action on spirit is encouraging you to do so okay because you will be successful and there is honor and good luck coming your way okay let's go ahead and dive into the tarot reading i'm being called to use the tarot grand lux by ciro i think that's how you say his name c-i-r-o marchetti Sorry if I'm not saying that correctly. Ciro Marchetti. That's the name. I'll show you the deck. The deck, the box that the deck came in. Just in case. Okay, that's the, the and look, it has a lion on it. Beautiful. So um, all of the decks that I'm using in this reading can be found in the description box. Okay. If you're interested in purchasing the decks for yourself, you can do that by clicking the link next to the deck, okay? I think I've already said this, but you need to go check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay, to make sure that you're getting all of the messages that pertain to you. If this reading does not resonate with you today, that's why it's important for you to go and do that, okay? This is a general reading and it's not gonna resonate with everyone, Please take what you like and leave the rest for someone else. Let's go ahead and get started. Taurus, we're going to be looking at your upcoming challenge in April. We're going to get advice from Spirit and we're going to get an outcome. Okay? Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. Sun. It did come out in reverse, but still, it's the sun nonetheless. Okay? So we will look at that. And my deck is upside down. So it belongs this way and this belongs this way. So it's not upside down. This card, my deck was upside down. Okay, there we go. We got all the cards out on the table. So we will go ahead and start with the challenge position, which doesn't seem like a challenge at all to me, but you have the sun, okay? The sun is a very nurturing energy. The sun really talks about illuminating something, something um, that is comforting, something that is, that's bringing in clarity, okay? The sun brings in clarity. Um, positive news is coming your way, okay? Now, this is in your challenge position, so there might be some delays or there might be some challenges um, other than delays, but we'll take a look at that. The sun card is the most beautiful card in the deck, okay? so. Uh, we'll see what comes out since it's in your challenge position. You have the two of wands in advice from spirit, okay? Um, this is a card of choosing, choosing between two. It could be two jobs, two people, two ideas. Um, you'll have a choice to make in April, okay? Um, as you can see, the door is the, the gates or the doors. Oh, I, I guess it's more gates than doors, but they're opening up, okay? This is... 11 so 1-1 one, one. Um, if you you know get a chance go check out um, 
on YouTube, there's uh, lots of videos on angel number 11. If you have some time, go do that. Take a look what take a look at what angel number 11 means. That'll give you a little bit of clarification as to why you're getting this card because this is advice from spirit. Okay, we'll clarify what the, what it means for you in the tarot reading. And in the outcome, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is someone who's very confident. This is an energy of someone who takes action. And the card here, the Moonology card, tells you to take action, right? Looks like that's what you're going to be doing. So this person is very confident. I believe this is your energy, Taurus. Although you are a Taurus, this isn't technically your energy, but I'm, I'm feeling this as um, possibly your energy um, in the month of April. So um, you could be very fiery. You could be feeling very uh, ambitious, um, very ready to take action on something. It could be a possible um, work endeavor or project. But let's see, let's see what comes out, okay? Spirit, what is the Sun card and the challenge position for Taurus? Please clarify. How would you like me to take this? Okay. Ten of Cups. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. The Three of Coins. And the Five of Swords. Now I can see why there is some challenge here for you. So although you are trying to uh, really obtain this Ten of Cups, right? This Ten of Cups is happiness in the home. Um, there is a challenge here with happiness in the home. The Ten of Cups really talks about bliss in the home. You know, very good vibes, very high vibes. Um, but there is um, this Page of Cups in reverse. So there's um, difficult difficulty moving into a new direction, possibly in love, okay? So there could be um, either a love offer that wants to be made um, or someone may want to be offering this love to you. And it could be just a very small gesture of love, but it's in the reverse, so it's not happening, okay? And it could possibly um, help manifest or bring in this Ten of Cups. So there is a partnership here. Um, this is the Three of Coins. Sometimes this can represent partnerships, okay? It doesn't have to be a loving partnership. This could be in um, work. So, but with the uh, Page of Cups here, this does um, really screaming to me new, new message of love, okay? So this could be a partnership. You may be in business with your um, your other half, you know, your your lover, uh, your spouse. Um, and there's five of swords here. The five of swords talks about difficult communication or lack of communication. Okay. So this is why it's your challenge. So you definitely are um, in a partnership here that could, that has the potential of this 10 of cups. Um, as you can see in this card, these people are pretty happy, right? Sitting next to the fire, cuddling uh, with their dog, you know, they look really, really happy and comfortable, but there's something here that's blocking this um, Ten of Cups, okay? And it's, it may not be something too worrisome or too um, strenuous, but it's something that you need to look at, okay? Uh, so that is in your challenge position. So let's see what this two of wands is from advice from spirit what decisions oh okay so you have a decision and then you are ready you're ready to make whatever decision this is and it could be possibly to make this love offer um and and you know get past some of this difficult communication or lack of communication you're ready to move into a new direction okay as you can see the ship out there out in the distance it's coming your way so you're ready to get onto that ship and you're ready to walk through those gates to get you into um, the next phase of your life, okay? Let's see what else we got. We have the Justice card. This is the card of Libra. Libra, you could be dealing with a Libra, but this really also talks about balance as well, okay? Okay, you have the is this 
seven, six of wands. Sorry. Took me a while to, to look at the Roman numeral there. This is the six of wands. And this talks about victory. So there's going to be some balance um, coming in for you once you make the decision to move towards this Libra or bring in uh, justice um, or balance into this um, connection, okay? Um, justice, uh, sorry, the, the Six of Wands talks about being victorious and really um, moving into a position where you feel good, where you feel confident, and where you're standing tall. Okay, one more card, please. Sir. And then we have the Eight of Swords. There's something that is causing you to feel like you cannot attain this balance with this individual. But those, the blindfold and that thing around her wrists can easily be taken off. Okay, it's just very, very thin cloth. So basically what this card is saying is you are holding yourself back for what, for, you know, moving towards, um, this new, or this choice. Okay. This decision that you have to make, uh, you're up in your head a little bit and you are holding yourself back. Okay. Um, you still can attain, uh, whatever you want to attain and whatever choice you're going to make that will move you into the 10 of cups here, uh, in your challenge position but it's up to you, okay? That's, that's a card really saying it's up to you to take off those uh, very loosely fitting blindfolds and cuffs around your hands and move forward, okay? It's, it's a way, um, it's really saying that you are um, having to, sorry, let me just put a little bit more incense. Uh, you are holding yourself back pretty much, okay? Um, so let's see what the outcome is going to be. Looks like your confidence is going to um, to be very strong in the outcome, maybe towards the end of April, maybe the third week in April, okay? Do you see that? Um, so let's see what this King of Wands is about. Spirit, what is this King of Wands for Taurus? Embracing your confidence, Taurus, is really going to take some strength. Um, you possibly have had to endure some difficult um, times. I do see with the Five of Swords here, there's been some lack of communication, possibly, um, you know, uh, negative thoughts, maybe. Uh, and so you're you're having to push through some of those negative um, aspects of, of this connection, okay? You have the Seven of Cups, the Hierophant, that's you. You're coming out and you're reading. The Hierophant can also talk about higher purpose, okay? The Seven of Cups, this is saying that there are options, but there could also be illusion here as well. Okay, so... Um, We talked about strength. The Seven of Cups can talk about illusion, okay? It can talk about maybe not seeing things clearly or having too many um, emotions about um, how you're feeling about a certain thing or a certain person or a certain situation. And you need to really hone in on what is important, okay? What really matters, okay? Um, as I said, you are here and you're reading with the Hierophant card and You'll need to really ask yourself, this is also the card of commitment, okay? This is also the card of marriage as well. So it looks like um, with the 10 of coins here, you are committed to having, and you may have had already a long-term commitment with someone. Um, 
this could be many, many years of a commitment with someone, okay? Um, it looks like you're just feeling a little bit confused as to what's um, how to move into um, a more confident um, demeanor or situation where you feel confident to move into uh, maybe offering this cup of love because it is in reverse. You want it to be upright. Upright talks about moving into that direction to offer someone that love, okay? You're not doing that. It's in reverse, okay? Or the other person is not doing that with you. Could go the other way around, okay? So I do see um, there is commitment and you do have 10-10 here. So just as I said um, with the 11 card, the 1-1 the one, one card here, um, you have 10-10 as well, which is the same technically the same thing okay 10 10 1 1 okay um because 10 uh, 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 right it comes out to 1 1 okay so definitely go check out angel number 11 to get another additional message that will definitely pertain to you and why you're getting this message today okay again you could be dealing with a libra a uh let's see here i see you taurus here i don't see any other signs other, other than libra here okay um it's time to take action taurus whatever this is it might be towards this person it might be um you know maybe reviewing what what is causing some confusion in your heart okay there there seems to be a little bit of confusion and you're going to have to um, really push through, have some strength to um, move into this commitment and bring forth some of the um, some of the clarity that needs to come through, okay? Because you do have the sun card here. So that is clarity, okay? That is what is not, uh, this is your challenge. You're, you don't have clarity right now as to what's going to happen in this 10 of cups and in this 10 of uh, coins, okay? So... Let's get one oracle card from the Lover's Oracle. Spirit, please give Taurus a message that pertains to this reading, please. Oh, and that just flew out. All right, the message is, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Beautiful. Someone loves you, Taurus. Someone loves you. So I'm going to end it on that note. Okay. All right, Taurus. I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. And I wish you the best in the month of April. And until next time, namaste.